Celebrity Sweepstakes, show number 645, VTR 91576, air 10176, yeah, that's all folks. Malavy, Nipsey Russell, Deborah Lee Scott, Pat Cooper, and Alan Seuss. Here are the contestants, and the people who set the odds, our entire studio audience, every single one of them ready to play Celebrity Sweepstakes. And here's the host of Celebrity Sweepstakes, uh, uh, Jim McCloud. Thank you, Billy, and good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Good there morning. you are, all, morning. In, all in your places with bright shiny, shiny faces. Shiny. Is Dave a regular on this show? Pardon me? Is Dave a regular on this show? Yes, yes I think he is. <laughs> Les, why don't we introduce <laughs> Dave to the world? Why don't we, why don't we do that? And why don't I once again turn, as I have many times before, Yes. and turn to the camera and brought on the fabulous put-on of the world, Bill Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Lord love Bill you for a compassionate man, Jim. Here's our returning champion. He's won so far a total of $11,630. An Air Force captain from Cerritos, California, Dave Lewis. And today's challenger is a housewife from Woodland Hills, California, Hillary Weiss. Hello, Hillary. How you doing, sweetheart? Good to see you. Dave? <laughs> You're in seventh yeah, heaven. I guess right. so. Eleven thousand six hundred and thirty dollars. We'll try to make both of you a lot more money today. Let me tell you, our folks at home, how we do it. Our studio audience sets the odds on each question, and with, to help them with their decision, we've given them some tip sheets, just like this. Mm. And on that tip sheet, it says the stars' strengths and their weaknesses. That's For example, how they do. it says right here. Greg Malavy can only pick up 130 pounds. That's what it says. Our contestants also have tip sheets, and while our stars know that some of our questions are based on the biographical information they furnish as part of the program, they are hearing the actual questions for the very first time. Right, stars? That's right! We start you off with $50. You can bet $2, $5, or $10 on any given question. If you want to bet on a favorite star with the lowest odds, you can bet up to $100 if you have the money. Anytime you drop to $10 or below, you can only bet two to we fill it all back up again. Also, we set the odds on each category. All set? Oh, We're all set. Yeah. First category, definitions. 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 A definitive question. A definitive I question, I would say. Yeah. Long shot on definitions, Alan Sue. <laughs> Zoo? 42 to 1. Alan Sue's, I said. Uh, he Nipsey does? Is even money, one to one. they call me Alan Sus. What? <laughs> How did they call me Alan Sus? They at a club and they called me Alan Sus. He said, now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll give you Alan Sus. Uh -huh. But I bombed, so I just left it at that. <laughs> In the honeybee world, the girl bees are called queens. What are the boy bees called? Dave? I'll bet $10 on Deborah Lee Scott. On Deborah Lee. Deborah Lee, what are the boy bees called? Aren't they, um, God, I think, uh, aren't they like worker bees? No, I'm sorry. Worker I'm sorry. bees are the group that falls in the middle. Oh, is uh, it? <laughs> Gosh. They just work so hard they don't have time to fool oh, around. That... They don't have Hillary's... time for a name. That's right. <laughs> Hillary, it's your turn. I'll bet $10 on Carol Wayne. On Carol, what are the boy bees called? Studs. Stud... <laughs> 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 and if that doesn't buzz you, nothing will. What did you say, Carol? <laughs> Drones. Drones is right. Oh, that's right. Hey, Jim. Uh, yes, that's a... The bee is such a busy soul, he has no time for birth control. And that is why, in times like these, there are so many sons of bees. <laughs> our next category is... I get it. Our next category is word definitions. Word definitions, which I'm sure is different than just plain definitions. Is that correct? Definitions. That certainly is true. Word definitions. The long shot is Pat Cooper, 24 to 1. Nipsey Russell is the favorite. It's Hillary's turn. What is the literal translation of Tutti Frutti? <laughs> the literal translation of Tutti Frutti. Hillary? I'll bet $10 on Alan Seuss. Alan? <laughs> well, <laughs> 
is your strong suit. I always thought Alan That should be an excellent choice. I would say. Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity. Tootie Fruity. What do you mean, what's the literal? <laughs> what I mean is, to put it another way, what is the literal translation of Tootie Fruity? <laughs> That's explicit. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I mean. I don't know. What does Tootie Fruity mean? It's a gum. No. Oh. <laughs> that's a juicy gum? fruity. Oh, that's mm -hmm. juicy fruit. I've been eating that all the time, and I thought it was tutti frutti. Uh, tutti fruit is an ice cream. Ice? No. No, it's a it's a, a candied fruit. All right, I have to accept that as an answer. That's incorrect. Dave, it's your turn. I'll bet ten dollars on Pat Cooper. On Pat Cooper, Pat. I better believe tutti it. Tutti frutti. All fruit. All fruit. Right. <laughs> more in just a moment. There. Welcome back, guys and girls, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Man-made structures is our category. Man-made structures. <laughs> yes. Like, like Welch, the big house, the little house. Why are you thinking house. Way? Long shot is Carol on a man-made structures I question? I beg your pardon. <laughs> 40 to 1. You, you, you never saw a man with a structure made like that. Greg is the favorite. It's Dave's turn. What is the tallest office building in the world? Tallest as in? Quickly. Yes, in height. Dave? I'll bet $10 on Carol Wayne. 10 on Carol. Carol, yes. tallest office building in the world. I think it's the Sears Tower. Right, for $400. Yes. That's Carol's hometown. Carol's hometown. Yes, that yes. toddling town. Yes. Carol oh, yes, grew up Chicago. and was nurtured right there. Yes. Right. Aren't those the twin they towers in Chicago? Are they the twin towers, Carol? Next no. category is sports. Sports. <laughs> Speaking of towers, I sports. Get, I think you have a yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> Long shot is Alan Sue's at six, 99 to 1. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Deborah Lee and what Carol are both 66 to 1 apiece. The question is as follows In what sport? Might your three-year-old have to take a saliva test? A what test? A what? Saliva. Saliva test. Saliva. He's too young to play. Saliva. 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 He's saliva. too young to play. Saliva, Spit. I say. Spit. Spit. Saliva. Uh -huh. A saliva too. Hillary? I'll bet $10 on Alan Seuss. Alan, what sport might your three-year-old have to take a saliva test? I would say it's horse racing. Right you are. Right. Next category is safety tips. Safety, safety, safety tips. tips. How did you spell? Now we're back to Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused <laughs> with Not Q tips. tips. Exactly. <laughs> we Deborah Lee is 10 to 1. She's the long shot. Police officials say if a woman is in danger of being molested, there is one word she should shout which is more effective than any other. Money! <laughs> <laughs> Give me should the she, money! What should she shout, Dave? I'll bet ten dollars on Beverly Scott. What is the one oh, word? Oh, Dave, I thought. Well, uh, more. No. Uh. <laughs> no, that's not it. Oh, um, wait. No, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I don't think we can do it now. It's, oh, it's your turn, Hillary. <laughs> That's right. I'll bet $100 on Nipsey Russell. Nipsey, what is the one word a woman should shout if she's in danger of being molested? If she's in danger of being molested? Yes, sir. Naughty. No. <laughs> Let me see. It's got to be one it's got to be one of two words. I'm going to take a guess on one. Police. Police. No, I'm sorry. Carol, do you know? No. Then it's must be. Is that it? Help. What? Help. 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 No. no. Not police. Fire. 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 <laughs> It says it gets a lot more response. Fine. Hillary, our challenger, has over $1,000. Dave, our champion, 640, back with more in a second. Here we are playing Celebrity right. Sweepstakes. Once again, we have word definitions. Word definitions. Oh, 
Not to be confused with definitions or literal translations. Or birds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nipsey's the favorite. Pass along shot at 31 to 1. Deborah Lee, Alan and Carol both 20 to 1 apiece. What does a dowser do with his rod? <laughs> he hollers fire! <laughs> Hillary? <laughs> Um, I'll bet ten dollars on Pat Cooper. On Pat. Pat, what does a dowser do with his rod? <laughs> Knowing you, old dowser, you. I'd like to tell you what he should do with his rod. <laughs> a dowser do with his rod? Yep. Yeah. Well, the only thing I can say is, uh, does it got anything to do with electricity? Mm, no. A rod? No. I'm no. Sorry, I have to take that. No. I have to take that mm -hmm. as take an answer. That big bet. Dave. Mm -hmm. I'll bet a hundred dollars on Nipsey Russell. Nipsey, what does a dowser do with his rod? Well, I've seen him do a lot of things with him, but actually, a dowsing rod is an instrument used in the search of water Absolutely underground. Absolutely right. <laughs> I knew it! Dave, I knew it! Well, here's that band again. Is that right? Once again, we, we'll play this, we'll be back. Band entertainment. Next category we're dealing with is space. Mm. Space. Long shot is Deborah Lee at 36 to 1. The favorite is Carol Wayne. Dave, space question. Who was the first American in space? Mm. First American in space. Not the first American spaced out. <laughs> I'll bet $100 on Carol Wayne. Carol, first American in space. John Glenn. No, I'm sorry. I bet. John was, John was the first uh, American to orbit the Earth. Hillary, right. what's your bet? I'll bet $10 on Pat Cooper. Pat, the first American in space. Alan Shepard. Alan Shepard. Right. Then Commander. And Freedom Seven. Freedom Seven. Space. What's that, love? Who's the first one to walk on space? The first the American to walk on space? Oh, yeah. I give up. Alan Seuss. Alan, Alan Seuss. <laughs> Category is games. All the games people yeah. play yeah. now. They have a night yeah. and have a day now. Games. Games. I'm okay. auditioning. Pat is a long shot on a games question. Nipsey is the favor. The question is on a Monopoly board, which street earns the least amount of rent on a Monopoly board? How about it, Hillary? I'll bet $10 on Nipsey Russell. On Nipsey? Oh, no. Huh? What street earns the least amount of rent? Now, let me see. The only board, a name I can remember is, is Atlantic Avenue and the boardwalk. Let me see. A monopoly. What Just street earns the least well, amount of rent? Would you have to ask me right now before I uh, out? Back Street. Back Street. I'm sorry. Dave, it's your turn. $10 on Pat Cooper. Pat? Well, I'm at a stymie here. I'll take a wild shot. Boylston. Pardon me? Boylston. Boylston Can I Street. <laughs> In Boston, right? What's the difference? What's the difference? Mediterranean Avenue. Mediterranean. Uh, Mediterranean. Wait, Where did I get from Atlantic? Boston. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> How come I said oh, Atlantic? Art. What is our next category, audience? Art. Art. What? Is it Port Is there an Atlantic Avenue in the Yes, Port there is. Yeah. Yes, there the is. No, there isn't. I, I don't, don't know. Office. Pat's a long shot. Deborah Lee's a favorite. That's what I mean. In one of Rembrandt's most famous paintings, Aristotle is contemplating someone's bust. Yes. Whose bust is he contemplating? Yes. Dave? I got it. I didn't have it. That was Aristotle. I'll bet $10 on Carol Wayne. On Carol? Oh. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, All money. the hair on the back of my neck stands up. When I'm looking over here, you know I'm looking over here. Then I'm not looking at you like, of course. Aristotle is looking at somebody's bust. Yes. And not a minute too soon. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at Julius Caesar's bust. Oh. Aristotle was no fool, you know. No. <laughs> a bust is a bust. <laughs> is it? Hillary, it's your turn, though. I'll bet ten dollars on Greg Malavy. On Greg, Greg, whose bust was Aristotle contemplating? I don't know. Well, I, I'm going to take a wild. I'd say Venus. Venus? No. 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 I would have sworn it was well, Venus. Well, Did you know, sir? Homer. Homer is right. Oh. Homer's bust. <laughs> Homer's bust. <laughs> Aristotle <laughs> contemplating the bust of Homer. That's the end of round number one. Hillary has a thousand sixty. Dave, our champion, six fifty. The home stretch coming right up. Stay with us for more of Celebrity Sweepstakes. We'll be right back right after this message.
is our celebrity sweepstakes home stretch round. In this round, each time our players win, they can double their winnings by picking a second celebrity who also has a correct answer. We again set the odds on the category. Stars, I'll ask you to write down your answers. Religion. Mm. Religion is the category. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alan is the long shot at 99 to 1. I have my own religion, you know? <laughs> a couple of agnostics burned a question mark in front of his house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the category. Here's the question, stars. Please write down your answers. Christians use the Bible. Jews have the Torah. What holy book do Muslims use? Uh, yeah. What is the holy book of the Muslims? You'll have ten seconds to write down your answer. All right, Hillary. Time's up. Pins down. I'll bet $10 on Pat Cooper. Pat? Oh, gosh. I haven't been in church in years, honey. I took a crazy guess. I said the tablet. The tablet, no? <laughs> no, no, it's good. I better take a tablet after that question. Okay, like a, like a Not even pill the pill. pill. <laughs> Alan, what did you say? Rhythm. Oh, don't ask me. Well, he didn't ask me, did he? No. Yes. I did. You did? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to say. <laughs> did you he say it, honey? It. Say it, Alan. I say it. Say. Yes, Nipsey? The Koran. Koran is right. Koran. How many stars had the right answer? Nipsey and Greg, to the boards. <laughs> the next category is music. Music. Stars, according to the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta, where were the pirates from? <laughs> according to the Gilbert and Sullivan operetta, where were the pirates from? I can't spell this. <coughs> Carol, you've done something to your odds, love. They're 79 to 1. Deborah Lee is even money 1 to 1. It's your bet, Dave. Oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I'll bet $10 on Greg. 10 on Greg at 21 to 1. Greg? La, da, 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 da. Oh, no, that's the wrong music. Right. No, I said the Pirates of Penza. Right. What? Penza. Right. You know, I thought it was Ken Doyle. I thought it was good shit Ken for. All right, wait a second. We have a, a chance today for, for Dave to pick up uh, extra uh, 210. Pick another star, pick Dave. Up, pick up who? Pat Cooper. Pat? Where are I the pirates? Pinza. Pinza is right. That's what I said. I started it. Yeah. All right, that's another 210. Right. Dave, you got uh, 1,070. You have the lead. Hillary has 1,050. How many stars had the right answer? Was the ship called the Pinafore? I think so. Yeah. Alan had it, 15 to 1. Okay. Players, we're out of the home stretch. We're coming right down to the wire. This is our all or nothing round. I'll read one more question. You'll need secretly select a star and then determine if you're going to bet nothing or everything you've got on that star. Again, the studio audience sets the odds. They can range from even money to 5 to 1. The category is sports. Sports. Long shot is Allen at five to one. The favorites, Greg and Nipsey at even money one to one. Stars, please listen very carefully to this question. In which sport would you associate the terms fletch, knock, quiver, and recurve? Fletch, knock, quiver, and recurve. And recurve. Pardon me? Uh, Spelled how? R-E-C-U-R-V-E. -E. Quiver and recurve. All right. Good luck to our players. Good luck to you. We hope you'll be back right after this. Okay, Dave, who did you choose? I chose Alan Seuss. At five to one. Hillary? I chose Alan Seuss also. At five to one. All right. Now, if either of you bet it all and lose, here's what you'll receive. Bill? A Whirlpool electric smooth top glass ceramic range with self-cleaning oven, plus a portable dishwasher with super scour cycle and cutting board top, all furnished by Whirlpool. Super. Thank you very much. Alan? Alan. Yes. Five to one. Yes. In which sport would you associate the terms fletch, knock, quiver, and recurve? Well, I would say because the quiver part... <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was archery. Archery. Hillary, that's right. If you bet it all, love, you got $6,300. I bet it all. You got it. <laughs> Dave, if you bet it all, $6,420. I bet it all. Oh, you got it. That's super. <laughs> Hillary, you got 
$6,300, love. Thank you. Dave, <laughs> my friend, for a captain of the United States Air Force... He could buy uh, his own army. You know it. Dave's got a grand total of $18,050. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Good to see you. How many stars had the right answer? Yeah. That's a week's pay, huh? That's dynamite. Thank you all Would very you much. Would you like to open a barn in Could. Let me, t let me just say this very quickly, if I may. This is kind of the end of our fun here for a while. And there's several people... Don't get that, teary. I won't. Okay. okay. Try, try to you, keep the emotion out of your voice. James. I certainly will. <laughs> and uh, you try to be quiet. Uh, <laughs> be hard. Mr. Nice I Guy comes thank, through again. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very serious. I want to thank Ralph Andrews for uh, giving me this job to start us out. Bert Sugarman, who uh, has been a dear friend and uh, a very, very nice person. Dick McDonough, our director. Neil Marshall, who produced our show. Larry Hovis, Ken Slater, Jane Little, Mary Jane Trochel, all the people that have worked on it. And there's some stars that have been very special to me over the past mm -hmm. couple of years. Joey Bishop, Dick yeah. Martin, Dan Rowan, George Hamilton, James Ferentino, Michelle Lee, Jimmy That's Dan right, don't Clifton. mention none of us. The, <laughs> <laughs> the people that have been up here, I, I've grown to know you and love you very much, and especially Pretty Carol. <laughs> love you, dear. See you right. tonight. See you later. Thank you all. We hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Someone in our audience will receive a library of phantom books, including a world full of strangers attend a moving love story spanning three generations in America. Best-selling books furnished by Bantam. Since some of our contestants will receive men's and boys' sportswear from Fruit of the Loom, slacks, jeans, shirts, and sweaters, great value in sportswear from Fruit of the Loom, and however you like chocolate, Chunky has four delicious family-sized bars. Each breaks into 24 thick, bite-sized pieces, Chunky, thicker chocolate, a General Electric bag sealer, seals bags airtight for freezing and making boil-in-the-bag foods. Timex Electric watches for men and women, the easy-to-read electric watches that never need winding. Timex Electric's beautifully styled, sensibly priced. Tickets for you and your friends to see MGM's film, No Man Is Life You, starring Red Fox and Pearl Bailey, and coming soon to theaters nationwide. Furnished by MGM and Eskimo Pies. Dairy fresh vanilla ice cream covered with special chocolate flavored coating. Eskimo Pie, refreshing and delicious anytime for a no fuss treat. A question was scratched in the All or Nothing round, the tape was edited, and a new question substituted.